Well, Jeff, you, you hear these questions. I hear these questions now, now that I'm on board and, yeah. and see this as a, something that really makes sense. Where, what's the reasoning behind this? I mean, why did President Trump, uh, Senator Booker, um, Senator Scott, mm -hmm. what were they trying to accomplish? And, and because clearly there's, this is seasoned with a number of uh, wonderful tax benefits, but why? So the incentive, RJ, was, or the objective was, again, unlock these passive gains in the stock market principally and reallocate them into these designated zones and stimulate investment in economic activity. So it was really an economic stimulus program. Um, and again, as I said, those zones were based on an unemployment and income thresholds, and they wanted to create activity. So these stadium districts we're going to get onto in just a moment are a great example, whereby you've otherwise got surface parking, quasi-industrial um, submarkets, and now, because of the OZ designation, they're attracting investment to create new entertainment corridors and new residential solutions in these uh, previously industrial areas. That's just one example. Um, and I think, I think that the spirit of the program is being met, um, and which is why it's going to be extended. Well, and one of the things that was attractive to me, and, and frankly, we've got a couple of other clients that are ready to do this fund as soon as they have their commercial building sell. But one of the things that was troubling to them and certainly troubling to, to me as well as it, living in the beautiful city of San Diego, it's very difficult for police and firefighters and teachers and nurses and social workers, and the list goes on and on. It's very hard to find affordable housing and so what's what's happened is many of these that are so important, so critical for the infrastructure in our city, but they have to buy uh, to have a home that they can afford. They have to, it's an hour out of town. So one of the significant things that I love about this program is that it provides housing, not for low income housing, although perhaps it does that too, but more what I see it is for middle income housing, where, just as I've said, these sectors of our communities that desperately want a house of their own. <laughs> put a hammer and a nail and put something up on the wall and no one's going to complain. That needs to be built. And that's what this is that's doing. Right. Especially when we see your projects here, you're going to unfold for us. Here yes, you're absolutely right, RJ. And we call that, we call that either the miss, missing middle or workforce housing interchangeably. And uh, hmm. you want people to live close to their work, particularly if they're a first responder, uh, medical technician, uh, evident by the hospital nearby, your location, mm -hmm. uh, school teachers, et cetera. And so we are in these zones, we are building much needed housing and we're trying to deliver it at a reasonable uh, or affordable rate. Mm -hmm. 